All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call and text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, Shannon Sharp, Rubs, NBA fans, and Kobe fans the wrong way. He he revealed he has a claim why Kobe Bryant can't be top five in the NBA. Let's talk about it. Check out the NBA Talk playlist. He says, um, NBA World reacts to Shannon Sharp's Kobe claim. Says former NFL star and current analyst Shannon Sharp did everything. Uh, he did everything his could. I think he could. They didn't type up. This weekend, to anger the NBA community, Sharp suggested Kobe Bryant is in top five all-time uh, player in NBA history. Well, well, this former Los Angeles Lakers star doesn't have enough MVP awards for Sharp. Quote, in history of sports, I don't know if we have ever had a guy rank top five with only one MVP, Sharp said this weekend, this week. Okay, um, he said, I base my goals on multiple regular season MVP championships. And multiple finals MVP. This is how I judge it. The list isn't right or wrong. It's mine. Facts. Uh, people were tweeting, Unk, don't do this. Any part he sub with, don't, don't, he said, Shannon Sharp, he, he sub with Shannon Sharp. Uh, any person that doesn't have Kareem in top three shouldn't talk. Facts. Ban football players from talking basketball about basketball. Somebody sub tweet, tweet, tweeted, okay? My thing is this. That's his fucking opinion. People get mad at people. You ever know this? Watch your YouTube, man. Watch your favorite YouTuber, man. Right? Put their name. Put their name in the search list and, and put exposed. And some people, oh, I exposed this guy. Man, people need a life. I was watching my other channel. Somebody was talking shit. About I'm like, people need a life. Oh, I exposed this guy. This guy exposed. And then create. They need to take people out who make content like that. Who use other people's audio, video. I shouldn't have to create a claim. It's so difficult to create a copyright claim. It's very difficult to create a copyright claim. <laughs> very difficult, okay? You got people just talking about other people's business and just for views, man. They need to do something else with that, uh, with the, the algorithm, man. But, um, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, you talk about the greatest NBA players of all time. And a lot of these people, um, don't know shit about, about basketball, bro. When you talk about Top five, bro. Michael Jordan, LeBron got to be in there. No Pacific order. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That's three. Um, Magic and Bird. Four or five. You know, when you don't understand what Magic and Bird did. So before Magic and Bird, the NBA the NBA didn't have a TV deal. The finals they did have was on tape delay before Magic and Bird. So by default, without Magic and Bird, Michael Jordan had been. Ain't Michael Jordan wouldn't wouldn't have had the start he had. LeBron wouldn't wouldn't be where he was at. So when you talking about you know you can talk about Bill Russell winning eleven rings and that's 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 cool. I'm not knocking nobody who Bill Russell in their top five, but without Magic and Bird, the basketball would be in a different situation. Michael Jordan would took basketball from tape delay to where Bird took Magic and Bird took it to. So without Magic and Bird, the NBA timeline is messed up. So Magic and Bird was the truth. So they got to be there. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. You know, if they had defensive player of the year, he probably had ten of them. You know, he was he was what LeBron is in his day. Okay, when you talking about uh we just talking about NBA, he was six time champion. Without 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 my uh Magic Johnson, he won a championship. Then he won one in 80, 82, 85, 87, 88. And remember he came into the league in sixty nine. You know, two-time Finals MVP, six MVPs, 19-time All-Star, 10-time All-NBA. Remember, they didn't count blocks and all that shit back then. He made the NBA All-Team, five, second team, five-time, All-First Defensive Team, five-time, six All-NBA second team. I mean, Rookie of the Year, two-time NBA Chorus Champion. And don't don't he got the most points in NBA history? He was a block leader, so they did count blocks, okay, but he didn't have Defensive Player of the Year. 50 of NBA all uh anniversary team. There is no metric in which Kobe Bryant is better unless you just prefer guards. You're looking at accolades plus college. I mean, even just what he did. This man is the great one of the greatest basketball players to ever do it. At 7'2". 
And also, you want to know the funky thing about what he did in his career? He played 20 years at 7-2. He lived up to expectations that people put on him since um, high school. He played from 69. Plus, he played like fucking four years in college. 66, 67, 60, yeah, he played four years in college. First overall pick. He also coached too. I forgot he had a coaching career. This dude played from 69 to 89. He has the most points in NBA history. Come on, he has the most points in NBA history. I say it again. He has the most points in NBA. That's who LeBron chasing. He has the most points in NBA history. People say, well, you know, uh, LeBron, LeBron ain't better than Kobe. I, yeah, I, I agree player for player, but once you look at LeBron, you got to look at the accolades too. All around, come on, Kobe, better offense, play better defense. I get it. But we talking, you got to put the accolades in here. We talk about greatest of all time. LeBron had four MVPs. Now you can say that's politic and cool. Steve Nash had one of Kobe's, and I think – Kobe MVPs got took away because he played with Shaq. And same as Shaq only got one. But, okay, you know, this man made the All-Star time, team 17 times. Four finals MVP. So, we talk about player for player. Cool. I'm not knocking that player for player. Kobe's better. But when you talk about accolades, accolades, Kobe was a finals MVP twice. Five-time champion. Won MVP once. You know, great. I don't even think he was the defensive player of the year either. You know, but you're looking at the accolades of everybody else. That goes into it. There's somebody out there that's probably better than Jordan. They get a chance, you know, or whatever. Come on, this, this dude resume speak. And I'm not even a LeBron fan, like people know, but LeBron is top five. Say what you want to say. The resume speaks for itself, okay? Um, Wilt, Wilt Chamberlain. It's hard for him to put him ahead of Wilt Chamberlain. You look at what Wilt Chamberlain did, bro. Um, he won a championship twice in a thousand try, but he won twice. He was the finals MVP. He was the MVP of the league four time, 13 time All NBA All Star team. He was an All Star game MVP in 60. First team All NBA 60 to 62, 64, 66, 68. Three time NBA second team, second team All Defense. I mean, first team, two time All. This dude was amazing. Then after his career, he played professional. Look at the numbers. I'm just going to speak the numbers for a career that he played from. Uh, this dude played for the Harlem Globetrotters too, but his NBA career spanned from uh, his overall career spanned from '58 to '73. His NBA career spanned from '59 to '65, right? '59 to '73, uh, right? Now, now listen to these numbers. I just want y'all to listen to these numbers real quick, okay? This man averaged 30.1 points a game for his career, 22.9 rebounds for his career, 4.4 assists for his career. This dude, it, 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 this dude is great. Come on, man. And this dude, and he won multiple MVPs. He won four MVPs, man. And he played part of the Harlem Globe. So, I mean, what metric? Yo, we talk about Akeem Olajuwon, another great player. I mean, what metric? When you put everything in the pot, what metric are we saying? So I have to put a top 10 list together by my, I would say, Michael Jordan. Magic Bird, LeBron, uh, uh, Kareem. I mean, I'm just doing. I'm just doing one out there. Let's say it's five people, no particular order. Kareem, Hakeem, Tim Duncan. Uh, I'm, I know I'm forgetting somebody. Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell, and then I'm probably thinking like somewhere in there, Kobe Bryant, because he's in my top ten. But that's hard to say because Tim Duncan, man, you look at Tim Duncan resume, man. I want people to understand something, man. Tim Duncan resume was something extraordinary, man. Five-time NBA champion, same as Kobe. Three times finals MVP. He won two MVPs. Fifteen times NBA All-Star. Ten times all first team NBA. Three times second. Two times all third. Eight times defensive player of the year. Seven times defensive second team. So rookie of the year, man, it's tough to contend to win, bro. But just because some of you, these, just because the man passed away, don't make him top five. He ain't. You know, when you talking about guys like Charles Barkley who can play and Isaiah Thomas, you know, who sacrificed Julius Irvin, Jerry West, Scottie Pippen, it's it's tough. 
Willis Reed was the first second round pick to win NBA MVP. So just because y'all ain't seen him play, and then you just talking about ability, oh uh, yeah, Kobe just off ability is top five. But then you got guys like Maravich. It's been man, come on, man. Bernard King, if you want for the injury, David Robinson. You know, it's hard to put these to put these champions, put these dudes in in a vacuum and say, you know, if we just talking about player for player, yeah, Kobe probably top five minimum. But you look at a guy like David Robinson and his resume. I didn't even know he was from Florida. That's wild. Okay. Well, he went, he went to school in Virginia. Army Brown, I believe. Two-time NBA uh, champion. He won the MVP. Ten-time All-Star. Come on, man. This, this dude was extraordinary, too. People forget. I think he had like a 50-point, 20-point game, 50-20 game, something like that. You know, so it's, you know people want to get mad at Shannon Sharp. Listen, you got to understand, he's older. And I ain't wanted to defend him. You got great guys like Kevin McHale, who had a great block game. And Jason Kidd, who took a sorry-ass team to the finals back-to-back. -back. Man, this is Rick Barry was a great player. Like I said, just because these people don't know who these guys was. It is what it is. Damn, Nick Wilkins was a great player, man. This shit tough. But when you got guys like Giannis running the league and don't know how to shoot a fucking free throw, man. Don't, you can't sit here and say y'all league was better than the league I grew up on. You can't. And you know, talk about Akeem Elias, easily top 10. Say what you want to say, easily top 10. He won the MVP. He was one of the few guys who won the MVP, defensive player of the year. You know, he won all that shit in the same year. No, excuse me. Yeah, he won that shit the same year, defensive player of the year, and he was NBA champion and finals MVP. He's the only player to do that. NBA champion in one season, 94. NBA MVP, 94. Most valuable player. 94. Uh, he was a defensive player of the year. 94. He's the only player. That Michael Jordan ain't never did that. Now, Jordan was an MVP, slam dunk champion, all-star MVP, NBA MVP. I was a great, but Hakeem won a championship. You know? So think about that for a minute. Kobe never did that. Just because he died, I understand. 94. Champion. Finals MVP. MVP. Defensive... Come on, man. Some people just need to shut the fuck up because they don't know nothing about ball. But let me know what you guys think. Check the NBA Talk playlist. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, inquire, respond to your video request. All my social media links, description. Twitter's the fastest way. Facebook, Instagram. All links there, man. Um, I want to make a financial donation. Cash app, CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate. Share, share the video. But, you know, like I'm saying, man. A lot of these young dudes, this NBA is trash. The NBA I grew up in the 90s and early 2000s was a great NBA. That's what ball looked like. At least. And that was kind of watered down from, you know, what it used to be. But a lot of people going to get mad. But it's true. He's not my top. He's not top five. Because he, he passed away. He's not top five. And, and that's just an honest assessment. But you talking about just ability? Yeah, ability he might be one of the five five best players yeah, ever, okay? But it ain't just ranked on ability. If we take championships and, and accolades out of there, somebody else might be the best. You know, look at what Nate Tiny Archibar did. You know, uh Isaiah Thomas was the only player in history that averaged over twenty points a game and twenty and uh and what thirteen assists a game or some shit like that, so you know it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. NBA talk playlist, check that out. Let me know what's in the comment section, please.